Hey there, I'm the Chad, and welcome to my Halloween Horathon, where we're playing nothing but horror games all October long. Today's game is the demo for Scholar's Mate, a game that is releasing Q1 of 2024. It looks like pretty cinematic and, and nice. Um, before we jump into the game, I'm going to play a little intro video that plays before this, and then I'll be back and we'll jump into the game. Right, here we go. That was kind of creepy, wasn't it? What is this place? Where? Where am I? You! that they have these cinematics that's um that's promising i think that hopefully that means that they put a lot of work into this and they're not going to use the same damn copy and paste monster asset that every other game has electricity okay and have what's this looks like there are some markings on the wall from where someone's something's been moved interact yes. Okay. Have to get a handprint. Bloody handprint. I hid the key behind the board covering the window. Board covering the window. There. Okay, let's grab that. So that probably gets us out of here. Candles. How long have I been unconscious? Unless we got some drugs. It'll be the drugs they used on me. All the same drugs, okay. Anything else? Before we get out of here? I feel like it might not be a good idea just to run out of here. That dude's out there still. Anything up here? Okay. I think it's time to go then. Can't interact with the clock or anything. No more bloody hand. Okay, so it looks like there's maybe a bloody handprint everywhere there's an item I need to grab. Um, what's this say? This is the end. Help. It's, it's, I don't know. Jeez. Blood everywhere. Alright, let's get out of here. Use the key. Punishment cell. Ooh, shit. It's not a good name, is it? Do it that way, right? Is that a flashlight? Hell yes. Don't mind if I do. Um, what the hell was the flashlight button again? Flashlight. Ah, middle mouse button. It's not press middle mouse button, though. It's just, it's scroll. It's kind of weird. Nothing works. Doesn't work. Okay. 
Asylum on Illinois to permanently close terror asylum. This morning, October 9th, 1987, the St. Valentine Psychiatric Hospital in Illinois closes doors as a result of constant complaints filed by family members in recent years. Reports include unorthodox practices by workers toward patients. An alleged rape of a patient by an orderly is also under investigation. The police began their investigation and several of the families started filing without apparent reason. The center responded that patients could react very aggressively when seeing someone familiar to them. The police requested the investigating judge to halt the facility's activity after presenting sufficient evidence to the prosecution to bring the alleged perpetrators to trial. The center's workers have been placed under police surveillance and banned from leaving the country until the hearing tomorrow on March 6, 1988. Damn. All right. There doesn't seem to be anything interesting here. Really? We got tools we can use these to protect ourselves. A bone saw. <laughs> a drill. What about here? More drugs. A book. Okay. What the hell is that? I have some music going right now, though. It's a bad idea. Actually, this isn't the right music. It's getting suspenseful at the wrong time. Wait, what are we looking at? Oh. Either I get out of here, or I'll suffer the same fate. Not cool. Not cool. Don't want to go down there just yet. See what else we may have missed in here. I'll kill you. Jeez, I kill you. It's kind of nice out there. The fog's actually moving and stuff. That's pretty cool. I hate it when windows and games are just like a blur of nothingness. Okay, let's look for handprints. Oh wait, flashlight. <laughs> oh, another punishment cell. Woof. Nothing. It doesn't work. Okay. All right. Is there nothing else up here? Not seen any handprints. Bloody handprints anywhere. Um, oh, here's your room. Hey, hey, wake up. Are you okay? They're not responding. Well, let's go help her. Locked. I'll need the code that unlocks it. Code? Can I? Looks like it takes a key. Okay. Oh, right here. No electricity, shit. Okay. I guess it's time to go downstairs. Let's do it. The hell is there a phone? Over here? If I don't pick up, it'll keep on ringing. Pick it up. What was that? Hello? Is someone there? Please? Say something. Help me. I'm in a hospital. I saw someone and then I heard someone scream. Tell the police. Please. What? Are you the guy that brought me? Don't hang up on me. Shut up. Shit! This ain't good. I hate it that anytime I interact with something, my flashlight turns off. Internal memo. I have received several reports of locker thefts. I apologize for any inconvenience these unfortunate incidents may have caused and the necessary measures have been taken. From now on, a certified guard will check the contents of your bags when you enter and exit the building and will make a report of their contents so that there will be no future occurrences. I feel like that's gonna be a big problem with a lot of women in their purses, cause like, it's a lot of stuff in there sometimes. For security purposes, don't forget to change the code to your locker as soon as possible. Combinations such as one, two, three, four, or your birthday are easy to guess. Yours sincerely, Director Robert Hill. Okay. 
picture of a young woman celebrating her 30th birthday. Photo is dated October 7th, 1987. Hmm. Maybe that's a code. 10787. Is there anything on the back of this? Okay. Should write that down. Like I'm gonna need it at some point. Wait, okay, there's a bloody hand. Uh, computer? Nothing, it doesn't work. Can I open the door? Cannot. Okay. There's the other stairs that lead upstairs. <laughs> the stairs to upstairs, go figure. Okay, here's bloody handprint. Can we jump? No. Looks like there would be something here, right? Or not? Nothing, okay. Okay, we have a padlock. Door has an inner lock. 10. 87? <laughs> I know it said don't use that, but... Okay. I want to believe. Oh. <laughs> Water faucet. It's quite heavy and a bit rusty. It's so funny that you have to have these in every damn game. So there is a bloody handprint. Is that just telling me there's something over in here? Or is there something... Else I'm missing. Okay. Let's go see if we can find that code. Toilet. Also locked. There's candles in here too. Okay. Ask for the key at the reception. Thanks. Okay, so the key for this should be up at that receptionist area. Uh-oh. I don't think I want to go down there just yet. Not just yet. Um. Yeah, so far this game's kind of, um... Uh, Oh, what are my thoughts on it? It seems good. I can, it's definitely a demo. And it still needs quite a bit of work. Um, but it seems pretty promising, honestly. And it's also locked. Help me. The doorknob has been removed. I have to look for it. Okay. Director found dead in his office. The director of St. Valentine's, Robert Hill, 58, was found dead in his office from a point-blank gunshot wound to the head. Evidence points to suicide following the charges presented by the investigating judge. The police declined to give further information about the incident at this time. Police are following the disappearance of Paul Hopkins, 39, the caretaker at the psychiatric hospital. He was last seen two weeks ago while police went to his home to take a statement about the center's malpractice. The alarm was sounded yesterday when police arrived at the suspect's home with a court order and found no one there. Your cooperation is requested. That guy looks like a chomo. Oh shit. No, fuck you. Not fuck me, fuck you. Impossible? What's impossible? Opening this? Books I can click on. It's like we have another padlock. Let's see here. 10. 87. Let's try that. Wrong. What if it's 1655? Okay, I think what I'm going to do here in a sec is just go through every combination. Hopefully, I was hoping maybe since it was a demo that 
that like I just kind of gave you the answer here. <laughs> um, hopefully this is the type of lock where just as soon as you hit the right number, it'll open. I can just sit there and go through every combination. Thousand of them, whatever it is. What would it be? Four times four times four times four. Okay, where's that key at? Right over there. Okay, so we have to find a way to get in this door. And it's probably gonna be in one of those lockers. So 10, seven, 1987. All right, I'll try those first. Okay. So I'm gonna try all these codes. I'll be back once I found the right one. What was the code? I have to go back. I'll put it on the screen, whatever it was. Okay, there's a reception key. And a teddy bear with... Okay, this is for my queen on it. All right. That's uh, a chess piece. Here we have divorce papers. Copy of dos dossier containing documentations relating to a divorce filing. October 5th, 1987. Attorney Christine Johnson, yada, yada, yada. So this is 10. I just cut this part out of the game because I accidentally said some uh, personal information that I shouldn't have. So, yeah. Just saying I know somebody with that day as a birthday. Okay. So let's go try this other locker real quick. I'm just gonna have to go through every combination. And it does automatically open as soon as you hit the right combination. Oh, and it wouldn't be four times four times four times four. It'd be 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Because there's 10 possible numbers on each of these. So 10 times 10 is 100 times 10 is 1,000 times 10 is 10,000? Really? Seems like a lot. There's no way I'm going through 10,000 combinations here when I do this. Yeah. Normally when I do this, it's with three digit uh, combination locks. Four digit, gosh, yeah, that might, that's, that is 10,000 different combinations, isn't it? That is gonna take a long time. Well, <laughs> I can be sure it doesn't start with a one or a zero. But it's not like I ran out of stuff to do. I have another key. I don't know why I just, just sat there and tried 2,000 different combinations. <laughs> but I can use this damn key and get in here and see if I find another uh, code somewhere. Or go down the stairs over there through that door. See what we have here. Fourth of July, my birthday. So this is a uh, six, 10. Definitely wouldn't be 0610. Maybe it's not going to be 06 anything. Let's see here. Trip to Chicago. Yeah, I don't think that code's going to start with July because uh, I did all the zeros. What do we have here? Electronic panel door operation. Enter the corresponding code to unlock the door. If you enter the incorrect code three times, the panel will remain locked for 10 seconds and the alarm will sound. You cannot change the code without the relevant authorization. All electronic doors will automatically lock if there is no electricity. Okay. All right. So that's for the doors of the keypad, which we... Okay, we have a fuse, cool. We need to get some power on in here. And that fuse is going to be the first step to doing that. Okay, that's locked. 
That's also locked. Okay, we have a key right here, right? Yep, to the bathroom. Yep, toilet. Let's call it toilet. They must be European. Okay, anything else here? You need to get some electricity on up in this mother. Okay. So the only thing I'm thinking is it could be like, um, it's not going to be zero or one anything, not 1987 and not, yeah, I don't know if any, I don't think any of these codes could be it. Cause I've tried everything. Any of these are going to start with a zero or a one. So it really can't be any of these. Well, let's go keep looking around, see if we find something that makes sense. Guess we have to go down. Oh wait, we have the toilet now. Let's go. Oh no, 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 no. Seems the toilet seem the they seem what the hell did that say? They seem to use toilets. I guess they are at least somewhat civilized. Okay. A pentagon shaped satanic symbol painted with blood. Yeah, that's. Oh, okay. Whoa. The symbol looks like a Masonic pyramid. That's creepy. Imagine an eye in a urinal. That's actually kind of hilarious. Kill you. Ears don't really work. That kind of sucks, but it's okay. The water valve. There we go. Valve is open, so we have water now. P. Hopkins Journal. Um, I can't really read this very well. I'm getting closer and closer to meeting them and their distant world. After months of investigating and trying to communicate, at last they contacted me through a lucid dream. They told me how to connect the four symbols. I will open the door to their reality and learn the absolute truth. So that the way to reach them was not lost, I transcribed my dream into this journal. The first thing that I saw was a great forest full of flora and fauna. And in the middle of the trees, a formidable, formidable erupting volcano emerged. The lava covered everything in its path until it reached the sea. Finally, after all that destruction, I saw the sun dawning on the horizon. I left engravings of the symbols outside of this journal, so that if anything should happen to me, someone will continue my search. See you on the other side, P. Hopkins. So, where did he leave the symbols outside? Like, just here somewhere? All four symbols must be found in this room. There's a green clover. Poster of a lucky clover. He so we found... Wait, was green one of them? Yeah, flora and fauna. The water pump. That's the water pump out there, it looks like. It's turned off. We have to go outside. Okay. So what were all of the... Green forest. I'm going to write this down. Alright. Green forest. Red volcano. Blue sea and yellow sun. Blue sea. There's a green forest. Don't see anything blue yet? Um, ceiling. See on the door now. There's the yellow sun, I guess. The red volcano and 
Yeah, where? Oh, Blue Sea right here. They've painted in Ouroboros. Okay, I found them all. Now what the hell do I do with them? Let's go back to the book. Do I need to, like, light the, um... Candles in order or something? I'm not really following what I do with that stuff. I found all the symbols. But what do we do with it? That was the green forest. Red volcano. Blue sea. Yellow sun. I don't know. Let's go down here now. That's pretty good attention to detail. Look at that hand just sticking up out there. Damn, that's a little creepy. <laughs> a damn rat. rat. That scared me. Scared me more, I bet. Okay. Got here. Oh, come on. Lock from the other side. What do we got here? Red, one floor. Blue, two floor. Yellow, garden. Green, neutral. And no explaining how to operate the fuses. So. I wonder if... I bet this has to do with the code in that book because it's the same colors. So on floor one... Was it Noah's? Where do we find the fuse? It's floor two. Yes, interact. Okay. All right. So one and two has fuses now. And then we also have the valve. So. B. Wait, wait, wait. Do the colors of these wires mean anything? Red, blue, green, and yellow, so... Um... Oh, wait. Do we have to, like, connect all the red fuses, maybe? All the red wires? So, like, this one, this one, and this one? Possibly to get, like, floor one to have power? That could be how it works. Doubt it. Probably thinking too much into it. I just need to find another fuse, I'm guessing. Okay. So, I guess it's time to get into that locker. Oh, what was that again? I think it was like four, five, something. I'll put it on the screen too. What do we have here? Magazine, the other side, a magazine about UFO related phenomena of little scientific credibility, judging by the exaggerated headlines on the cover. Kentucky County Abductions discovers secrets of Area 51. How do I know if my boss is a reptilian? Preview. <laughs> cool. Alright, who else we got here? Um, seriously? Literally jack shit. I can't even grab this book? That looks like an important book. 
Oh wait, what's up here? Another fuse. Yes. Cross a book, a, a radio, and another flashlight. Okay, let's go put this fuse in. Hopefully, with this fuse now, we can connect like all the reds. Maybe that's red, one floor, blue, two floor, yellow garden, green neutral. Okay. We do need power to the, let's do floor two and then hit that code maybe. So that's going to be blue. Let's see. See if this works. That's got blue. This has blue and this has blue. Okay, let's go see if floor two has power. Please, please tell me there's power. It does not look like it. <laughs> I don't think that works. Let's go to that keypad. Still no electricity, damn. That sucks. Okay, so that didn't work. Let's try something else. go first floor now maybe that's what it wants us to do first see if this light just came on nice now we can go like work the computer and everything awesome well no I just have to get out of here let's get uh oh no, 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 no. Get up! No, <laughs> no just stand up and run! Why is... <sighs> All of that, and I finally got the damn power on, and that's how it ends. Okay, well... Cliffhanger, stay tuned for the rest of it, the beginning of next year. <laughs> and stay tuned for more of my Halloween Horrorthon. Tomorrow we will have another horror game. I'll try not to do a demo next time. Uh, that way there's not such a cliffhanger. All right, I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>